It's Sunday the 27th November and the Elia has been updated. Look, there's batteries down there and the autopilot works. So that's the Elia 250 uh, in X-Plane. So let's jump into it. Uh, let's take ourselves from, now here's a problem. This is the hospital at Oban. And you can see in the default screen, not only it says these awful puddles, which are in everything now has got puddles. I can't stand it. Um, but the trees, the trees have grown up, have grown up. So let's get airborne. As I say, the autopilot works now from um, that big multifunctional display. I don't know what the real word uh, for it is, uh, but the problem with it is it doesn't work properly. Uh, so it'll, it'll bring you nav voice, but it won't, it won't bring the engines up properly. Uh, so I've lifted into the hover, put in the, uh, and, and kept climbing, uh, selected to the nav, and uh, powered up that rear motor myself. So it's turning nav wise, but uh, yeah, it's not sorting out the motors, and you can tell that because it gets itself in the right tiz uh, as we climb up and it starts rolling quite a bit. So no doubt there's some work to be done by the good people at Explain, but this is an update from yesterday for me anyway. Uh, finally, the autopilot. So heading off to the island of. Coal. Two and a half hours by ferry. If you manage to catch the ferry, yeah, look, see the roll coming in now. Um, that's because it's not all it's not all joined up yet. Yeah, two and a half hours by ferry out to Coal um, from Oban when the timings are right. So if you had a medical emergency, a helicopter or aircraft would be the way to go. I don't know how they do it today. Perhaps they even fly people into places like um, Glasgow or somewhere with a medical flight as a little bit of a runway. But anyway, let's presuppose we're getting airborne. I will speed up the in-flight bit. When we get when we get to our cruising altitude, um, this this rolling will stop. But just the sick bags sick bags at hand and uh, I will rejoin this commentary when we get a bit closer to Col. observant you will have noticed a carrier popped up to the east of here so if we had medivac somebody or we were going to medivac somebody then i have a feeling that would be the best medical care anywhere nearby a big american carrier so let's uh, let's repair to the carrier and uh, chuck them off there and we can enjoy some hospitality in the mess whilst it's all occurring uh, so i'm going to get airborne having waited a little bit uh, put the patient on the back and we'll be off and gone and uh, I'll shoot an approach to the carrier. I've made no approaches in x 12 to carriers. I don't know what's ha what will happen and I don't think I've ever made an approach in this Aaliyah. Um, I'm getting the hang of it. I think for certain if it, they are to be manned in any way. The, it's, it's a bit like the old Airbus story that uh, they're flown by a pilot and a dog and the dog said to keep the pilot away from the controls. I absolutely have a feeling that's the way it'll really be. 
and it'll be some sort of uh, autopilot management uh, operator really I'll be driving it and, and not hand flying it so, but I could be wrong who knows anyway don't forget to join us every Tuesday at 2100 GMT for our chat up nonsense this week's one it's going to be quite big it's going to be the results of the case uh, in the UK uh, for councils allowing um, people to fly or not fly over the council and look after yourselves uh, perhaps I'll do this again next Sunday as well but I'll definitely see you on Tuesday bye for now